history and functions of area agencies on aging. The concepts and structures that have led to area agencies on aging, or AAA, date all the way back to the 1920s, stemming from the idea of a retirement system for government employees. The systems and services we have today took a long time to grow and develop. The AAAs, as we know and rely on, can be credited to the Older Americans Act of 1965. Under President Kennedy, Congress passed the Older Americans Act, OAA, in 1965 in response to concern by policymakers about a lack of community social services for older persons. The act established the Administration on Aging within the Department of Education, Health and Welfare and called for the creation of state units on aging. The original legislation established authority for grants to states for community planning and social services, research and development projects and personnel training in the field of aging. The law also established the Administration on Aging, AOA, to administer the newly created grant programs and to serve as the federal focal point on matters concerning older persons and is considered one of the most important contributions of aging legislation enacted by Congress. Although older individuals may receive services under many other federal programs, today the OAA is considered to be the major vehicle for the organization and delivery of social and nutrition services to this group and their caregivers. It authorizes a wide array of service programs through a national network of 56 state agencies on aging, 618 area agencies on aging, and nearly 20,000 service providers, and 281 tribal organizations, and one Native Hawaiian organization representing 400 tribes. The OAA also includes community service employment for low-income older Americans, training, research, and demonstration activities in the field of aging and vulnerable elder rights protection activities. It was not until 1973 that Congress passed the Older American Act, OAA, Comprehensive Services Amendments, which established the basis of the AAA system we know today. The amendments added a new Title V, which created grants to local community agencies for multi-purpose senior centers. The amendments also added Title IX, which created community service employee program for low-income persons aged 55 and older. While all of this is the foundation of the services that each AAA provides to their community, it was the Title 20 of the Social Security Amendment passed in 1974 that led to an increase in services at the local level and included tribal participation as a priority. Title 20, of the Social Security Amendment authorized grants to states for social services. These programs included protective services, homemaker services, transportation services, adult daycare services, training for employment, information and referral, nutrition assistance, health support. 
OAA amendments added transportation under Title III model projects. The Housing and Community Development Act was established, which provided low income housing for the elderly and disabled pursuant to the Housing Act of 1937. Also, the farm and rural housing expanded to include the rural elderly as a target group. Today, the AAA system in Washington consists of 13 agencies, two of which are tribal agencies. These agencies assist elderly and disabled on a local level across the state of Washington, providing and contracting services ranging from nutrition, transportation, housing, case management, and transition services for medical facilities. The AAAs work in close partnership with the Washington State Unit on Aging to help maximize the state and federal funding available to the citizens of Washington and has been on the front lines in efforts to work with those suffering from cognitive decline, social isolation, hunger, transportation, and fall prevention. The wide range of services provided to the community by the AAAs continued during the recent pandemic as the agencies showed their flexibility by shifting the delivery of some services to meet the needs of the most vulnerable in our communities. The AAAs continue to grow and change to reflect the needs of the communities they serve. Even though we have 13 individual AAAs in Washington state, they all provide some of the same basic services, while each is tailored to the needs of their individual community, making them unique in their overall services and service delivery. As the population in the state shifts to include a higher percentage of elderly in need of services, each AAA and the AAA network will continue to grow and change to fit those needs. Never being locked into one way of providing services and always being aware of the unique needs of each community has been and will continue to be the strength behind each AAA and the networks that support them in their effort to provide the best and most up-to-date services and technology to the citizens they support. This article was provided by the Washington State Association of Area Agencies on Aging, W4A. W4A is a membership organization made up of the leadership from the 13 area agencies on aging in the state of Washington. W4A's mission is to advocate at the local, state, and federal level for services and support that enhance the lives of seniors and adults living with disabilities. <laughs>